So I just finished uh, washing the roof. Next I'm going to take off the antenna from the inside and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then I'm going to lay some cutting tape along the edges because I'm not going to take off this old vinyl. I'm actually just going to wrap on top of it just to save time and effort. And this has been on for almost four years now so it's going to be a nightmare to take off. Alright, got the cutting tape laid out. I'm only doing this because first I'm lazy, second this wrap has been on for almost four years now and the trunk was already a nightmare to get off so I can't imagine, and I don't want to imagine, peeling off the roof vinyl and then having to lay another one. And now I'm going to remove the antenna from the inside and I'll show you how to do that. Alright, so in the back seat to get to your antenna, you have to pull like these tabs out. There's one here and then one right here. And then what I do is I loosen a C pillar to pull the roof liner down. And then there's like a there's a nut holding the antenna, I think. And then you have to unscrew that and then unplug your antenna and it'll come out through the top. I don't know if I can get this on camera, but I'll try. Because these like tabs are really hard to get off. Yeah, and they just go flying when you put enough force on. And the second one's off. And then I don't know if you can see that, but there's the plug, and then somewhere in there is the nut, right there. So what I usually do is, I can reach the, the plug with my hand, and then I use a set of pliers to get to the nut. And then uh, take out the C-pillar, you just pull it down like that. And then you can pull the C pillar down enough. Now you could take off the handles and then the, the headliner will lower even more, but I don't think that's necessary. Alright, I got the nut off. It's pretty hot today. It's around 90 something degrees, so this is pretty hot. I don't want to hold on to it. And for me, it's just unplugged. The three wires and then I could slide out the antenna from the outside right there and then this comes There's like these two tabs on the actual um, antenna part right there, that white piece right there. There's one on the other side, you have to press that and then push up for the antenna. I should have noted that it is a lot easier to, re um, to look up there if you take off the headrest. Uh, one more thing, when you're taking out the antenna, there's like that beam that holds up the roof and the roof itself. If you're doing this outdoors like I am, it's 90 something degrees or even like 70. You just be careful because it is hot and you can burn yourself. But now I got the antenna off. You would see that the spot where the antenna is is still glossy and the whole roof is faded. So now I'm going to lay out the vinyl and start wrapping it. I'm going to wrap about half of it, half the roof first, and then I'll start recording again to do the other side. So I'm just laying out the vinyl and I use two magnets to hold it on the other side. I'm going to do it on this side first because it's the hotter side right now. 
the side that's facing the sun. But you can see that vinyl, it barely goes over the roof. Like this is a five foot by four, uh, four and a few inches. And um, I used a five by four piece before, but usually I like it a little bit bigger so you have some extra room to play with. But even though it looks like it'll barely cover the roof, you're, you have, to, uh, what I do is I lay out around halfway, then I cut the backing off. I stretch one side out first. I make it so, you stretch it out so it's, it looks like it's already laid out and you don't have to squeegee anything. And I go out on the other side and do the same thing and then start squeegeeing out all the air. And for um, hot surfaces like the roof or like just big flat surfaces, I use, I like to use water when I'm squeegeeing. So that way I could see where exactly I've already went through and squeeze out all the air. Alright, so on the other side now, I started the backing on that side. I'm going to reach over, grab the backing paper, pull all the way through, and I already stuck the vinyl to the door so it's not really going anywhere, and I'm going to stretch it this way. Make a line with a squeegee, and then start stretching it out towards the back and the front. But usually, if you have two people, it's a lot easier because one can go on that side, hold those two corners while you hold these two corners and then stretch it out and then just squeegee it but instead of taking the extra time like I'm doing to like do this alone. So you can see that I finally got the backing paper off and you can see like it's all like bubbles. On a hot day like this it's a lot easier to just peel it back and then stretch it out and then peel it back stretch it out on the other sides to get it to look like it's laid out and I'll show you that in a minute. And now this is what I meant by uh, stretching over the vinyl. I know I got some places where I hit my hand, but it should look something like this and then you can start squeegeeing out the rest of the air. So I'm gonna do one side first, which is gonna be this side, and then I'll put the camera on this done side and then start filming that side. All right, I did like two-thirds of the roof and now I'm going to show you uh, how I work on that side and I, I'll try to describe it as much as possible but I think I'll be overlaying some music and making this a time lapse. Baby, she know that I'm chasing my dreams on the road to the green. Yeah, I'm pocket so green. On the block on the scene, only got for my team. Now these bitches love me, yeah, these hoes some fiends. I ain't doing no drugs, I ain't doing no lean. When he see Jay, yes, they know they gon' scream. Drippin' that sauce, wearin' Gucci, I'm wearin' some pee. Yeah, these hands, they mad that I'm chasing my dreams. I'ma go to the top, yeah, I'm not gonna stop. Me and my bros, we just had a lot. Getting this money, not chasing a dot. I'ma go to the top, yeah, that is my damn plot. Yeah, these hands love me, but I swear they can rot. Eat me so fire, I'm not gonna dry. Do my thing on the grass for my pot. Gucci and Louis, you Jason McCall Since the room going crazy, man, they know I've been flowing so lately Jay Banzo, that's my bro on them daily Me and Banzo, yeah, we living so wavy Yeah, I know that these men don't hate me But I swear these haters don't face me I'm just doing my thing every day Man, I swear they call me crazy yeah. These bitches, I swear they so crazy. I'm smoking dope to their face, so they face me. You playing these games, I don't want to see chase me. Yeah. Been in your block in the old back Mercedes. We coming up, can't let anything phase me. Nah. Tony so bad, yeah, she calling me baby. Chasing this baby. money, this shit every day. Got it so hot like this shit is a race. Alright, I just finished putting everything back. Plugging in the three plugs for my antenna, C pillars, and that tab. Um, If you're like me then you're gonna be kind of reckless and put some creases into the headliner but if you're if you take your time and go slow um, you won't have any issues especially if you lowered the B pillar trims yes I did break a clip um, if you want to wrap the whole roof and tuck in the corners and everything you'll probably take off this uh, rain guard and it's just held on by plastic clips but they're really easy to break if you don't know what you're doing. I also got a bunch of new clips for the roof trim and I just installed the clip. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, I mean when you break it you'll find out real quick how it's supposed to go. So that takes care of the roof.
We both know you won't be mine